Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What's going on, YouTube? It's Filthy, and we're back with another video. Very excited. We've got Season 26 PTR. Uh, I have had a little bit of a play. Unfortunately, it's extremely unstable at the moment. Uh, I'm getting rolled back, booted out repeatedly. Uh, so I thought what we'd do is we'd go through the conquests, go through the starting sets, uh, and you guys can have a look. And maybe start thinking uh, about what class you're going to start with and what you're going to play. Now, season 26 is going to have a new game mechanic next season, which is absolutely just beyond mind-blowing for this game. This game is so old, I never thought we'd ever see the day that we got uh, a new mode. It is a wave-based mode. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, it's going to offer some pretty good rewards, uh, the echoing nightmares, so it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, but as always, guys, when we start a new season, uh, that part, the season theme, is only available to seasonal characters. We have to go through the grind, we have to get the character leveled up, we have to get the paragons, uh, we have to get the gear pieces and all that jazz. Uh, really, really easy conquest this season, uh, which is nice because the last few have been a bit of a pain in the arse. So just going over the conquest very quickly, we've got Avarice. Uh, you can complete this without even trying. Uh, 50 million gold streak outside the vault. Uh, so pretty easy, just Boon of the Hoarder. Max rank, you'll get this done, uh, as I say, without even thinking about it. So that's a definite winner. Uh, Speed Demon, again, in today's game, Torment 10 within two minutes. Uh, absolutely no problem. Again, you'll probably just do this. Uh, any kind of key farming build that is fast, Gears of Dreadlands, in among Necromages, whatever it is. Uh, and then, again, on a good day, get a gem to 65. So there's your three conquests. They're all done. Um, Divinity, 75 solo. Again, you'll have that done, no problem. Uh, and then the last one, uh, Years of War, full bonus uh, with six of the following class sets. So probably one that you could knock out all five uh, in the season if you want to. Now, we obviously, we don't kind of know what it is that we're going to get uh, for the season. Normally speaking, there is a pet. Uh, that will get released a little bit later. Last season was a really cool Diablo 2 one. Uh, I think that was last season. We've had some really good ones lately anyway. Uh, so who knows what it's going to be. Uh, and usually a portrait frame. Uh, starting sets, which is always, again, something that I, I personally really get excited about. I like thinking about what I'm going to play and how I'm going to start. So if you fancy making yourself a demon hunter, you're going to get the embodiment of the Marauder set. Really powerful set. Uh, you know, just uh, actually quite decent for speed farming. Uh, you'll be able to do everything with this. So uh, all about companions, sentries, uh, and just, yeah, elemental arrow, shock room impale, multi-shot cluster arrow, uh, just a whole bunch of stuff. So uh, the two piece, you get all the companions. That's kind of nice, nice bit of utility. Uh, sentries will then duplicate your abilities on the four piece again you know fairly decent and then six piece uh, a hell of a lot of damage uh, easy to set up a demon hunter easy to level uh, so yeah uh, you know pretty good set for the demon hunter uh, if you want to play a barb then you're going to get the legacy of Raycor set uh, really excited to see how this is going to play this season because in the past this is probably barb's worst set um, just doesn't really work, but the re kind of working it so it's going to go with Ancient Spear and you're going to do a lot of damage. Now, one thing I would say is really, really hard to kind of judge where this is going to be. You know, is this going to be the S tier best start? Uh, well, we don't really know because the way that PTR works is we normally play the builds, we test them. Uh, very talented people who are very dedicated, much more so than me, uh, will find problems with it um, or things that aren't working quite correctly. So they'll normally take a second stab uh, and in about a week's time we'll maybe have something approaching a finished build. There's some shenanigans, I think, with the ability to put like legendary gems in a rake or chest piece and stuff like that. But uh, it, it is basically going to work around this kind of mechanic of the more life that you have missing, uh, the more damage you're going to do. Um, for us casual players, that's not necessarily the best mechanic in the world. Um, but again, it, it is interesting. Maybe it's a high skill cap kind of thing. Uh, and it, you know, hopefully speaking, it does work like the, the Lightning Fury Javazon from Diablo 2 where you chuck the spear and it blows up. Again, I haven't had a chance to jump in uh, and play this one yet because it just keeps crashing on me. So very eager to do so. Barb in general is very easy to level. It's very easy to get set up. So, you know, probably going to be a really good start. But as I say, we'll have to see uh, where the Raycor sits uh, once it's all done. Because it could be another Rathma where, 
it's just not really uh, the greatest thing in the world. Or it could be another inner monk, and it's just wreck shop, so we'll, we'll have to see. Uh, wizard, I can't see many people picking Wizard. DMO um, is probably one of my least favourite sets. Uh, this is the one we have to put the, the bubble down. Anything that goes in the bubble uh, takes extra damage when you slap it with one of the spills, so Arcane Orb, Energy Twister, that kind of thing. Not my favourite, uh, kind of a bit of a slow and clunky playstyle. I can't see too many people starting Wizard, um, but you never know. I also don't really like the 2 and 4 piece on this. Again, if you're a casual player, uh, this is probably one I would be avoiding. Um, just, yeah, I just don't like it. Uh, Zuni Massa uh, for the Witch Doctor. This is a 7-piece one. Uh, it's probably the Witch Doctor's strongest build. Uh, unfortunately, it's also one of the hardest builds in the game to play because it is just incredibly squishy. Uh, you get your fetish army, you get damage reduction depending on fetishes. That can be a real pain in the ass when you start off uh, because it takes time to build up your damage reduction. Uh, you also have the really clunky mechanic on the six piece where you have to hit with a mana spender to get your damage. So kind of like DMO. DMO is a little bit clunky. You've got to you know, tag with your bubble before you can damage. Pretty much a similar playstyle with Zuni Master. You've got to either haunt or oh, what's that poison stuff that the thing pukes out? Oh, I can't remember what it's called. Acid Cloud. There we go. You've got an Acid Cloud and then you hit. Uh, it is a seven piece set. You're getting a piece of jewelry, you're getting an offhand. Um, powerful, but again, as a casual player, probably towards the back of the queue. Uh, this is obviously just. In a monk, brilliant. Uh, we've been playing this for the last few seasons. Um, you know, just really, really good. It just does an insane amount of damage. Uh, two piece, four piece. Uh, yeah, I mean, six pieces where it obviously goes ballistic, like most of these things uh, in Diablo 3. But the reason this is even easier uh, to put together is you don't need any weapons with the inner monk, which is great. You also can get the boots with the modifier at level one. So again, similar to Barb, just very easy to put this together uh, and you're flying. So, you know, probably one of the fastest starts in the entire game ever would be an inner monk. So, you know, S top tier. Uh, the Crusader is getting the Khan set. Uh, quite flexible because you can stick with a lot of different things, but uh, again, not not really the most powerful for like speed farming and that kind of thing you know keys is going to be quite difficult early on with the Khan more of a push build I think really uh, you get resource cost reduction on the two piece cooldown on Akarat's champion on the four piece and then you know the six piece bonus you do have to find weapons and stuff like that for the crusade it's got quite a wide weapon pool um, so yeah kind of middle of the road uh but crusader is always powerful towards the end of a season uh but again as a casual player there are definitely better choices uh necromancer my favorite class uh really disappointed not to see any necro changes always whenever there's not necro changes i do feel a little down but uh pestilence is probably the best necro set uh we're going to be getting um you know, the two pieces probably one of the best two pieces in the game whenever you consume a corpse you fire a lance that does a bunch of damage and uh, you get damage reduction on the four piece and then you know a nice bit of uh, damage on the six piece can be very good for speed farming um not my favorite thing in the world to push uh, but that you know that's it basically they're, they're the set so pestilence nah okay uh, a con probably good inner s tier xenomasa Probably going in the good category, I guess. DMO, meh. Raycourt, jury's going to be out, but presumably S tier. Uh, and then Marauders, certainly good. Maybe even S tier uh, again. So, you know, basically this season's going to be a lot of fun because it doesn't really matter which one of these you pick. You're going to have a good time. Uh, obviously, some of the choices are better than others. You know, I'm guessing most people are going to be going for the Inner Monk or for the Raycourt Barb. Again, we'll kind of have to see. Uh, super easy conquests uh, and that's going to be quite good fun because we've got this new game mode we've also got the augments back uh, from the last season whereby we'll be able to find gems uh, that we can just you know, do as level 100 augments for us and that kind of thing uh, which would be very nice so next season I think it's going to be fun new game mode going to be going to be cool to play um, but that is it so they're the starting sets no cosmetic info as always at the moment we've just got the little portrait frame and some pretty super easy conquests so yeah barely an inconvenience um 
Right, I'm going to try and butt my head against the wall and do some more PTR testing. Uh, hopefully video is coming soon. Blizzard, I think, are going to hotfix the game uh, US time this morning. For me, that's not going to be for several hours. But we'll do what we can. I'll see you again real soon. Take it easy, guys. Peace.